Hello and welcome. So this video is a uh, an experiential practical video really around releasing the inner critic that <clears throat> voice in your head that tells you that you're not good enough that you should be fearful that you should hold back that you should play small and that when we release that inner critic we give way to what I would refer to maybe as your inner leader so this more confident, expansive, curious, playful version of yourself that really aligns to your greatness. And I had a, a recent medical emergency that really put into stark contrast that there is this David Brown and then there is this version of myself beyond that that is ultimately worthy of love and care and respect that really wants to play full out and be active in this life experience. So what I wanted to share with you today is a practice, a practice that I did long, started doing long before I, I had this medical emergency, but one that has taken on greater meaning since that medical emergency. Because the inner critic, with all its fears and doubts and worries, it kind of lives in the body in the tension that we hold, the tightness in the muscles, the sort of the bigger muscles of the body, you know, in the arms and the legs and the chest and the stomach and things like that. But also the deeper muscles and the deeper tissues of the body too. And so if we can help ourselves to practice relaxing those muscles, releasing that tension, then it gives way to this inner leader, which aligns to this I, this version of ourself that, that exists beyond the, the David Brown that, that can either have that inner critic in the driver's seat or can have that inner leader in the driver's seat. So we're going to spend some time today. I'm going to kind of do a faster version and it's pretty straightforward. You can do it sitting comfortably in a chair or you could sit on the floor or you could lie down even. And you can take as long with this as you want. This could be a guided thing if you wanted it to be. But also you could just take the principle and do it. I mean, I do it lying in bed. Or you could do it sitting quietly in a chair or on your sofa or lying on the floor when you have some time. And take as long as you have. Take as long as you want. Take as long as you need to release that tension and reap the benefit of what is there beyond that and that is always there, always tappable if you allow it to be. So I invite you to find a comfortable space. Again, sit comfortably in a chair on the floor somewhere where your hip knees are slightly below your hips so that you can, your pelvis rocks forward, you can sit upright and you can relax in your posture. Or you might prefer to lie down. And if you're lying down, then maybe cover yourself with a blanket, put a pillow under your knees so that it rests and relaxes your lower back. And you might wanna close your eyes and start to notice your breathing. The in-breath and the out-breath. Lengthening your out-breath, which brings you into 
rest and relaxation. And when you feel ready to move on from that, let's just systematically work through the muscles of the body, starting with the feet. Relaxing the muscles of your feet, the soles of your feet. The muscles inside the feet. to the ankles, relaxing the muscles of your calves and the front of your legs. Relax the muscles of the thighs. And the muscles around the hips. Relax your tummy muscles, the muscles of your lower back, the muscles of your upper back and your chest. the shoulders. Going down to your upper arms, biceps, triceps, the forearms. Just as best you can, releasing the tension in your hands. Relax the neck, the jaw, the cheeks, the tongue, the eyes, the forehead, the scalp. Take as long as you want to relax those muscles. And that relaxation gives way to something deeper. So there are inner muscles. So now we're relaxing the muscles that are around your spine, and the muscles between your ribs, the intercostal muscles. deeper muscles of the shoulders, and feel the release, feel the energy flowing as you release the tension. Release the muscles around your abdomen as well. There are some really deep muscles there. Let your tummy really plop out. And feel 
feel the muscles in the pelvis relax too. when you feel that you've done that enough, try and relax the whole digestive system. See if you can let the Intestinal tract, relax, release any tension that you can feel there. Your kidneys. And the genitals. Relax the liver. Relax the diaphragm. Allow your lungs to relax. throat. And your spine. Even your brain. And if you feel that you want to, let's even relax the bones, the skull, the jaw and your teeth. The vertebrae. shoulder blades and collarbone, the bones of the upper arm and the lower arm. the ribs, the sternum, the pelvis, the thigh bones, the bones of the lower leg, feet and toes,
for as long as time allows. Allow yourself to rest. Deepening the relaxation. Feeling yourself be rejuvenated. Oh my calm. That inner leader can step forth and align to the eye that sits beyond all of that. Maybe here you are quiet enough to receive the inspiration. For a project or a relationship or self-care or a new direction or something pleasant or something loving. And if nothing comes, that is fine. Enjoy the relaxation and energized feel. That comes when you release the tension. experience the feeling of being your fuller self, a fuller version of yourself. So when you do this yourself, take as much time as you need, but for now, as we come out of meditation, wiggle the fingers and toes, begin to move the body, open your eyes when you're ready. Mm. So I would love to hear how that experience was for you. So please reach out if you feel that you'd like to. But otherwise, if you practice this, then I hope that it guides you away from your inner critic and towards your inner leader, towards that sense of fulfillment and playfulness and curiosity and expansion. And that as you use it, you go well in the world and in your journey in life. Thank you.